Hello there, star child. I'm afraid I never caught your name, but I knew you'd find this recorder by my mother's grave. I wanted to pass on a few messages. Firstly, my mother, she, I wanted to formulate my thoughts on your question. Not for social media this time. Why not? I spoke with Lord Death and the other angels of death at our routine meeting, and we all agree that humans should know of the fallen angels. So, here's what I have to say about my mother. Feel free to use this recording directly in your video, Star Child. G was a lovely woman, loud, excitable, and everyone's mama bear, hence <laughs> the nickname. When I was born, I was her little bear, her <laughs> guinea bear, who looked so much like her. She was the biggest inspiration for me, and I knew I was the light of her life. The other angels describe her as strong, confident, and resilient, and I couldn't agree more. The day she passed was <clears throat> the hardest day of my life. I was only eight when she passed, and it was as unexpected as it could get. Angels are strong, robust. We don't die easily, especially by human hands. Most angel deaths are bloody ones, though. <clears throat> my mother's thankfully wasn't. Instead, her life was robbed from her through a spiked drink. There must have been a, a lot of drugs in that drink, otherwise she never would have died. They tried to resuscitate her, but it was no use. I never got to say goodbye. I was shattered. Depression hit me hard after that. But just when I felt too depressed to go on, my mother came to me in what felt like a dream. Thinking about it now, it was probably sleep paralysis. I couldn't move, but I wanted to. I wasn't afraid, but it felt like I should have been. It was the day before the funeral. Live with love, my guinea bear. Mama bear loves you endlessly. <laughs> that was her message to me. I could see her so clearly, her spirit the same color as her soul. I held her soul so tightly it had lost its light. I loved her, and I know how much she loved me. I was an accident, but she always told me I was the happiest accident a woman could ask for. I never would have gotten this far if I didn't know how much she loved me, even to her last dying breath. The mama bear for everyone thing came about from her time during the archaic war. She told me stories all the time about how she would join an angel of life named Eden who would one day be my own father, just to protect the weak. She would help the enslaved and would assist in tending to the weak or injured. Though she was a strong fighter, she took a defensive role, and she'd fight herself bloody to protect anyone, even if she didn't know or like them. I wanted to be just like her for such a long time. She did everything to protect Eden, and she protected so many others. She was somewhat of a mother figure to another second-gen angel, a reaper much older than myself who was left with no family following the Archaic War. She had a mission to fog... She had a mission to locate fallen angel souls and defend anyone who needed help. Angels like her don't exist to the public anymore. But they should be known to everyone for what they've done, for who they were. I'm glad you're interested in learning of the fallen angel, star child. Please, help others learn too, and don't give up on your pursuits, whatever they may be.